Hi, it's Jesse Zeman, Executive Director of the BC Wildlife Federation. Member update for early February. Uh, starting out on a good note, the 50-50 and conservation lottery haven't closed yet, but uh, the 50-50 is over $380,000, which is absolutely phenomenal. Appreciate everyone's support. Want to get a shout out to all of our great sponsors, the folks at Wood Wheat and Super Center, GA Checkpoint, uh, Deluxe Wall Tent, Happy Yak Food, Vortex, Fairmont Express, Pacific Breeze Urban Winery, the Vancouver Giants, and the Early Bird folks, uh, Italian Sporting Goods. Thank you all so much. You are supporting world-class restoration, world-class science. You're supporting education for people who want to get into sports shooting, hunting, fishing, uh, and just general outdoor activities. Thank you all so much. Uh, switching gears. AGM and convention is rapidly approaching in April. Um, you understand that not all the clubs have talked about sending a delegate. We're going to extend uh, the early bird deadline to February 20th. Make sure you get your delegates in. Please make sure you send a youth delegate. Uh, we are planning a day for them out uh, to do some fishing out on Okanagan Lake. Uh, so they're gonna have a great time. It's really important that we get our clubs out this year and our members out to the AGM and convention. We are facing a number of threats uh, as it relates to things like quagga mussels, whirling disease, uh, and also, you know, running headlong into the world of socially engineered hunting regulations. We expect fishing regulations will be the same. So we are going to have to band together as a community, talk about what our priorities are, figure out how we're going to deal with the threats that we face to move the future of conservation and hunting fishing forward in this province. Uh, awards, which are presented at the AGM, the deadline is February 15th, so please make sure that you get those in. Uh, there's a lot of news and a lot of talk in the public about the changes to the Land Act and also to hunting regulations. We mentioned hunting regulations on the last one, last member update. The province still has not released the proposed hunting regulations yet. Um, we had a whole bunch of parts of the province where the province didn't even ask us for hunting regulation proposals. So that's going to come in fast. I expect that the consultation period will be extremely short, uh, unlike the grizzly bear uh, management consultation period. And I expect that there could be tremendous negative implications for our folks if we don't stand up, be heard and be counted and focus in on the issue, which really is going to be the province of BC and our elected officials. Uh, happy World Wetlands Day. Wetlands are a huge part of our day to day, whether it's water quality, taking care of fish and wildlife. Uh, we're big on the beaver dam analogs, which ties right into wetlands. We do a ton of wetlands work every, every year. So uh, happy Wetlands Day. And uh, the other things that are coming up, trade show season is fast and furious. We are and will be looking for volunteers to staff up a bunch of our booths to help support um, some of the kids fishing ponds that we do. Uh, we're gonna have range day coming up, all of those wonderful things. So if you're interested in volunteering, you can uh, fill out the form on our page and we will be looking for that kind of support uh, all summer and all spring. Uh, that's it for us. Uh, hope you enjoyed January. It's been unseasonably warm. We definitely need some snow packs so that we don't burn everybody's houses down next year. Um, stay tuned. Please make sure you get signed up for the AGM and convention. Please make sure that the clubs are sending out delegates and keep your eyes peeled for these hunting regulation proposals. Uh, we are going to have to show the government how important the future of hunting and angling and conservation are to all of us in British Columbia. Thanks.